Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to download a normalized difference water index in Google Earth Engine and visualize the image in RGIS. So let's get started. So now let me explain about the normalized difference water index. So the normalized difference water index is a remote sensing technique used to assess the presence and extent of water bodies or vegetation in satellite imagery. It is derived from an analysis of different spectral bands captured by sensor on the satellite like Landsat 8. So uh, NDWI, that is Normalized Difference Water Index, is calculated by uh, band green minus band near infrared divided by band green plus band near infrared. So now we can able to visualize that is NDWI, that is band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So in Landsat 8 context, the typical band combination is used for NDWI calculation involves using a green band and near infrared band. These bands are sensitive to characteristics of water and vegetation, making them suitable for assessing the water content and the vegetation density. So NDWI values ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, with a higher value generally indicating the presence of water body, while the lower value represents a non-water surface like land. And here's how to interpret the NDWI value. So the value closer to 1 typically represents a water body such as lakes, rivers and ocean. So the value closer to 0 corresponds to the land surfaces indicating the absence of or limited water content. The negative value could indicate the clouds, snow or other non-water features. In some cases, the negative value might also be used to detect some detect shadows. So NDWI is widely used in various applications including water resource management, land cover classification, environmental monitoring and studies related to vegetation health. So now let me get back to uh, Earth Engine. So this is our Earth Engine. So our objective is to, to download the NDWI in Google Earth Engine. So our objective is to download the NDWI in Google Earth Engine and visualize our image in ArcGIS environment. So uh, the general formula to obtain the normalized difference water index is band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5 in Landsat 8 image. So to perform a la NDWI, that is normalized difference water index, first we have to import our the Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So to import our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine, we defined a variable called L8 representing Landsat 8 equals to double dot image collection Landsat collection 8 uh, uh, Landsat 8 collection 1 tire top of the atmosphere and to get the image of least cloud contaminated image. So for that we define a variable called image 2020 equals to double dot image L8 represents our Landsat 8 image which is represented this particular variable. So L8 dot filter bound, the point here represents uh, represents of a study region. So point here represents of the variable called point, which is a polygon with four vertices. So that is typically represented here in the image. The red color is a boundary. So that is uh, represented as a variable point. So it is represented as a study region. So to filter bound, we are using Landsat 8 dot filter bound dot filter bound point represents of a study region. That is this particular one red color. And next to filter with a uh, filter with the date specific timeline, we are using dot filter date 2021 January 1, 2020 December 21st. So now to uh, so now to get the image with the least cloud contaminated image, we define dot sort cloud cover and dot first function. So first function is used to get an image uh, to get a first image, so which is the least cloud contaminated image. So to view the property of this particular image, we define print image 2020 dot to, uh, dot to float function. So next to compute our normalized difference water index, we define a variable called B3. So we are using typically from Landsat 8, we are using band 3 and band 5. So we defined a variable called B3 equals to image 2020 refers to our Landsat 8 image. So referring to this specific variable. So we are using variable B3 that is band 3 equals to image 2020 dot select b3 refers to our Landsat 8 band 3 and next we defined a variable called band 5 equals to image 2020 dot select band 5 so basically we are using two variables to define band 3 and band 5 and we are selecting the variable uh, the band band 3 and band 5 from our Landsat 8 image so next to perform our algorithm that is for ndwi that is normalized difference water index so for that we defined equals to b3 dot subtract b5 dot divide b3 add b5 that is basically b3 minus b5 divided by b3 plus b5 and dot rename as our ndw2020 as a ndw 
I that is normalized difference water index. Next to view the result of our image we define map dot uh, center object image 2020 referring to a Lancer 8 image this specific variable and we are setting with a zoom level of 9. So now we have to define our visualization parameter for our normalized different water index layer. So for that we defined a variable called ndwi params equals to minimum we are setting with a minimum value of minus 1 and to a maximum value of plus 1. And using a color palette schemes, uh, color palette starting from green, yellow and red. So green here indicates our non-water uh, body, non-water surfaces and the red here indicates our water surfaces that is water features. Red will indicate our water uh, areas, the water areas and green will indicate our non-water areas. And to define a visualization parameter for our Lancet 8 image, we defined a variable called wish, wish params true. That is visualization parameter for a true color composite of Lancet 8 image. We define this param true. Equals to band. We are using band 4, band 3 and band 2. Which represents a combination of our three or true color composite. We set with the minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000. And the gamma value is around 1.4. So now to add this uh, NDWI layer. So into earth engine we defined map.add layer NDWI 2020. So we are referring to this specific variable that is this specific variable. So we're going to add this layer for that we can mention this specific variable that is a specific uh, variable and next for we are adding our visualization parameter that is NDWI params which is represented here that is NDWI params and next output the layer name as NDWI image 2020 and similarly to add our Lancet 8 image into our earth engine we defined map.add layer image 2020 this param true that is visualization parameter true color composite for our Lancet 8 image and uh, that is represented this specific to for our visualization parameter which represents this particular variable for our visualization parameter and output the layer name as Lancet 8 image so now to download our uh, this specific NDWI image to our Google Drive we defined that is export to a drive for that we define the specific code called export.image.drive so in that we are going to specify the image NDWI 2020 so which is represent this specific variable so we are going to export this specific image so for that we define the specific uh, variable we define that variable here in the image section we define NDWI 2020.2 float function uh, remember that we are using a float function so for export and to visualize an ArcGIS environment it is necessary to uh, do it in the float function in order to uh, in order to uh, so basically we are using a float function in order to acquire the decimal points uh, you know generally we are using in function for it's a whole number for whole number so we have to acquire the decimal functions we are using this float dot to float function and description will be of NDWI image 2020 polygon and the spatial resolution of this specific NDWI is 30 meter resolution that is a well Lancet 8 images of 30 meter resolution and region we are represented as a point is a variable point which represents our polygon of four vertices and last we are defining our max pixel values that is we are defining the maximum pixel value so it is 1 is to 10 power 13 so now let us run this code go to the option called run script and click run script so now we can able to visualize the image has been loaded into the image has been loaded in our earth engine so you can visualize here so now let me turn off this our boundary layer go to the geometry impo imports so in geometry imports click this uh, take this tick uh, tick mark to remove our study boundary so now in this image you can able to visualize there is a three different shades of color we have we, we have used uh, yellow red and green so here a normalized difference water index we are defined in earlier cases the red here represents the water body so all the water bodies in this specific study region that is in the specific tile of the satellite image which is represented in red color. So you can visualize that all the red color here represented all that are represented as a water body. So you can confirm just by using our go to the, uh, this section called satellite and click the satellite and go to the layer section. Now you can zoom into the specific study region. So you can now be able to visualize this specific study region has a water body. Now let me turn this layer off so you can visualize it now. So this specific study region has a water body that is you can able to visualize here.
and similar let me turn this layer on so we can visualize here the part of this part of the study region 2 has a water body let me zoom into this particular study region so you can visualize there is a reservoir so you can visualize there is a reservoir here so in this way the normalized difference water index is very useful in identifying the all the water bodies in your study region using this by in our earth engine so now uh, let us download this uh, normalized different water index to our google drive and let us view view it in our Arc, uh, arcgis software so go to the task section and now here there is an unsubmitted task called ndwy image 2020 polygon so to run this export this image to our google drive all you have to do is click this option called run so now you can able to visualize there is a new window has been popped up saying initiate an image export so here we have our task name and the coordinate reference system that it's going to export the satellite image in this specific coordinate reference system the spatial resolution is around 30 meters so you can export to a google drive or to a earth engine assets so in earth engine assets there is around 200 gb of spare free available space to export your earth engine assets so now we're going to export only in a two hour google drive so we are selected as a google drive so in this the file name will be ndwi image 2020 polygon and the file format will be in GeoTIFF file format. So to initiate our image export, you have to click this option called Run. So now in the task section, you can able to visualize our sun submitted task that is NDWY image 2020 image that is Polygon. So it is currently exporting our NDWY uh, image to our Google Drive. So we have to wait for some time to, uh, to complete this image export. So you can also visualize previously I have started this one of this uh, task that is the NDWI image 2020 the similar satellite image so it got exported and uh, it is exported time took around uh, 13 minutes to export. So now let us view this image that is the NDWI image 2020 polygon so let me open in my Google Drive so this is completed it has exported. Uh, previously I have exported the NDWI image so now let us visualize that image in my drive. So to open the drive, all you have to do is click this option called Open in Drive. So now let me click this. So now it has opened in our drive. So now we can able to visualize in this part of the section. So now we can able to visualize our image has been exported to our Google Drive, which is represented as a NDWI image 2020. So all you have to do is download to right click this particular image and click this option called Download. So now the image will be downloaded. So now we can able to visualize. We're gonna save our image to the specific folder. So the name is NDWY image 2020 polygon. It is in uh, it is in the TIFF file. So now let me save this. So it is around 37.2 MB. So now let me open in our ArcGIS software. So currently we are, we are in our ArcGIS software to uh, add our satellite that is our ND, uh, NDWI image into, into our ArcGIS. So we have to click this option called uh, add data. So now click this option called add data. So now we can able to visualize there is a new window has been popped up saying uh, create a pyramid for NDWI that is image 2020. So to create a pyramid you have to click this option called S. So now we can able to visualize the image has been exported to our ArcGIS software. So this is our NDWI image of 2020, so which is represented here. So you can able to visualize the value of this particular starting from minus 0 0.70 to 0 0.7 plus 0 0.79. So you can add some color ramp to this image just by clicking the, clicking the specific option. Right click this, that is uh, left click this and you can get an option called color ramp. Now you can select the color ramp of your choice just by clicking this option. So now click OK to visualize our image. So now you can able to visualize we have exported our Google Earth image to our ArcGIS environment. So now let me get back to our Earth engine. So in the Earth engine in the task section you have now able to visualize our NDWI image has been exported to our Google Drive. So it took around 3 minutes. So now I'm going to import this particular image into our Google Drive. Remember we have this particular option. We have imported only this part of our study region. So we have just imported this part of the study region and we have visualized that image in ArcGIS environment. So suppose if you want a different part of the study region, suppose you want to add this particular point of the study region, you can just click this uh, boundary that is our uh, polygon and drag to that particular area 
and you can just run this code to export this particular part of your satellite image to to a google drive so now let me get back to our rgis environment so here the green value here indicates about water body and similarly the low value the negative value indicates the non water body areas so the green value here indicates the water body regions so in this way you can perform all all your analysis in google earth engine and uh, you can also visualize those uh, image in our arcgis software so in this video i have shown you how to download an ndwi in google earth engine and visualize the image in arcgis software a shareable link and the code will be provided in the description section so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like